Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back with another video tutorial for you on something I get asked about quite often and that is how do I repurpose one of my older iPhones that I've since upgraded from if I want to use it for an iPod or if I want to pass it down to a family member who might need a phone. Fortunately, it's pretty straightforward to do nowadays, whereas in the past you had to actually have an active SIM card and the phone really needed to be used in order to be working. Fortunately, all you have to do to start the process off is restore the device. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. If this is your phone, as in it's an older phone of yours that you have since upgraded from, you shouldn't run into any hiccups here except for maybe having an extra SIM card lying around, but you can use your own SIM card all the same. If you bought this phone off of eBay or Craigslist and you don't know the original owner, we may run into some issues if the phone has what's called an activation lock on it. We can get to that in a few minutes, but to start things off, go ahead and restore the device to get any content off of there and to restart the setup process that you normally get when you get the iPhone out of the box. Setting up your language will then prompt you to go to the Wi-Fi selection screen and if you're like me and you want to use this older iPhone for an iPod, Wi-Fi is going to be crucial for downloading music or even connecting to streaming apps. It's also going to be crucial for pushing the iPhone through the activation server. The other crucial element is in fact a SIM card. Now as I mentioned earlier, you don't need to have an active SIM card, but this certainly will help speed things up during the activation process. If you have the same carrier still that you used to use for the original iPhone, feel free to use your current SIM card that you're using on your device to get this one pushed through to activation. Once the SIM card is inserted, give it a moment to recognize and then feel free to hit try again and see if the phone will connect to the activation server. Usually at this point, if it's your device and it's a hand-me-down, you should be pushed through to the home screen. Now, if the phone is still connected to an iCloud account, you may encounter what is called an activation lock. Activation lock means that the phone is still registered to a current Apple ID and may not be used if it's able to just be restored. This is a security measure if the phone is stolen or misplaced and someone else picks it up and tries to wipe it and use it. If you know this information, go ahead and put the Apple ID in and you'll be able to activate and use the phone. If you bought the phone secondhand, you may not be so lucky. If you're not able to get a hold of the original owner and have them change the activation ownership, you may be out of luck with using the device. However, if you were able to get to the enable location services screen, that means your phone's active and you're gonna be able to move to the home screen, open up music, start downloading applications, whatever you plan on using the phone for, this is an indication that you've reached the right spot and things are now ready for you to use. Hope you all found this helpful and you're able to repurpose some old iPhones. We'll talk to you all soon.